Jim. He's got his, he's really in touch. Good afternoon. We are back. Or good morning. Uh, Opie was out today. It was a scheduled day off. He, we knew for a long time he wasn't here. Um, so nice seeing Billy. You know, you can see the Parkinson's little, you know, slowed slightly. But, you know, it's only physically. The mind is still there. Yeah. And I'm sure on stage, I, I mean, when I saw him in his year last year, he was awesome. I'm going to go see him next it's week. It's nice to see him be so peace with, at peace with himself with his Parkinson's, right? Yeah. Because you would think, like, if you got Parkinson's, wouldn't you kind of freak out a little bit? What do you, I get an ingrown hangnail and I go, to, I'm fucking freaked out. Yeah, nothing. But, yeah, I would, I would have panic. I get, pa- I get anxiety and panic attacks. Just out of life, in you know. Yeah, he's so calm. He's so, but he's yeah. I guess yeah, he's very secure with where where he's at. I just enjoy him. I enjoy Billy Connolly as a as a guy. Yes. I, I think he's just a very funny and interesting person. And I, I was telling Rich during the break, like I watched him on a talk show once. It was in England, and he was with Tom Cruise. They had done a movie together. I don't remember what movie it was, and Billy was so fucking funny. And telling stories and really dominating the interview. Not a, like, a, you know, and Tom Cruise was rolling. Like, he was loving it. You know, like he seemed like he's a little shy, so he was probably happy that Billy kind of took the reins. But to see a guy be that funny and that unintimidated by probably at that time the biggest star in the world and just not give a fuck that he was sitting there, yeah. um, really was just, as a comedian, you watch that and you're like, yeah. this guy is just well, great. But why are we so impressed when. Like you say, you've met the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. Sure. I mean, these are just entertainers. They're not curing diseases or coming up with, you know, fucking uh, drugs that are saving lives. We're talking about just sure. regular entertainers. If you and say, like, so- how come Einstein isn't a hero, I'll fucking spit my no, gum no, at no, you. Not, no, okay. <laughs> really? Now you call it gum. Uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> do you understand how, like, I, when, when he told me he met the Beatles, I was like, holy fuck. I mean... I guess because they also made history too in life, but do you get my point? Does well, that make sense? He's just a famous, famous comedian. Of course, he's met them all. Is he famous, famous in this country? He's famous, famous in Europe. He's not famous, famous in this country. He's yeah. You know, uh, Eddie If is 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 known in Australia. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. You know. So what is? But he's not really famous. He's not like a Pryor Carlin, even, you know, whatever. Who? Billy Connolly. Murphy. Yeah. He's famous in Europe, right? Billy's very famous. In this country, too? Yeah. I mean, he has not like those guys, but Billy is well known. He's done a lot of films. He has a lot of movies. Really? Oh, yeah. So yeah. I thought he was known for mainly a stand up. Yeah, he's got, he's got a lot of. And films. not just ones that go straight to Netflix like yours, Rich Foss. No, it did go straight. Yeah, it went of... straight to Netflix. Not, no, first it went to iTunes, then Netflix. Okay. No, that's like a step down. Nobody goes to iTunes for movies. Yes, they, do. they go there for music. <laughs> are you stupid? fucking stupid? <laughs> are you stupid? They go, are you kidding me? <laughs> iTunes has one of the biggest music libraries. Uh, next, movie? Yes. I mean, movie libraries next to uh, Netflix. And Amazon. Amazon's a big... You make oh. me feel higher than I am. Huh? You make me feel higher than I am. So now you're a co-middle. <laughs> Why uh, does he make you feel higher? Because <laughs> he fucks everything up. And I'm just like, man, if he's fucked up, you look like you're fucked up. I'm not fucked up. But I'm you've tired. been sober. I'm tired. I've been... I am sober. Yeah. <laughs> I've been... I've been I, I'm tired. I haven't slept. No, I... You can't... To get... Oh, really? We're on Netflix? That sucks? You're stupid. I used to like you last break. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> uh, well, I never started liking you, actually, then. Oh, darn. I, uh, I love this. Do you want to do my podcast, Rich Boss? I, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I still oh, want to do, do your podcast. Spend, do you want to spend, spend more time on microphones together? Oh, please. I'd rather spend time <laughs> on a train con- to we Auschwitz. We could continue this fight. <laughs> you have Auschwitz? Podcast? Yeah, what's it called? Auschwitz. Not not when you have a speech impediment. Auschwitz. Where? What's your uh, podcast? Aus- what's, Auschwitz. What's you make it sound podcast? like a bashful concentration camp. What's your podcast? <laughs> My podcast is called Coup and the Gang. That's I had your friend. I, I had your friend Kevin Brennan on. That's good. Why? Well, that's a real get. Who uh- else? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's on drugs. <laughs> Whoa! He's also on my show tonight at Caroline's. 
Wow. Your yeah. 420? My 420 show. <laughs> I photoshopped a bong in his hand for the flyer. Is it, uh... Just because he hates me already. Huh? Does he? No. Well, like, on the microphone, hates me. How could he hate you? You know, because he hates my laugh. I like it. But laugh. it's a very natural and explosive laugh. Like it's a, if it was a fake laugh, I yeah. wouldn't like it, but it's a legit laugh. It is funny. Yeah. Uh, what do you do your podcast out of? Um, out of my house. I'm going to fly to my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have a studio here. Oh, you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm and just kidding. I don't really want you on my podcast. Do you really think I was going to do your <laughs> I just wanted to plug my podcast. Do you, do, you, um, do you write questions down when you interview people? Or do you just kind of fly by and just chat? Or, or you look at someone and go, all right, I'm going to hit on this and this. Who in the gang? No, I just, I just jot down some notes and stuff. Um, but no, I, I, don't really, I don't really prepare. You don't? No. But that's another <laughs> thing he made fun of me for. Like, my podcast and his podcast are in a podcast war right now. Who? Why? Kevin Brennan's Misery Loves Company. Because he makes fun of me. You know, oh, wow. he says shit like uh, I lick lollipops on Periscope, which I've never done. <laughs> but like, you know, I think he's funny. So she, she fucking licks lollipops on Periscope. Why is she fucking popular? I don't know. <laughs> I love Kevin Brand. So I, he <laughs> just gets so ramped fucking, up about nothing. Yeah. yeah no. fucking, she's fucking wearing a white sweater. <laughs> fucking... He said about he, it was like he was like, oh, Jimmy drops like grenades when we're in there. And it's like, I'm, I just woke up. And he oh, dropped, and I dropped them, gassers. Left, yeah. Left them right. Right. It's like you already got the job. Stop. What when I fart? No, no, no. When you like put in your jokes. Oh, well, they're not bad though. No, no, no. It's good. Oh, you're saying they're good. It's all good things. Okay, good. I've not, I didn't know you guys were friends because he doesn't talk about you. I know. Oh. oh, darn. On your podcast, he didn't talk about me? <laughs> on, your, on your fucking. fucking <laughs> Hurry up. Coup and the Gang, your it's fucking called... wordplay podcast. It's yeah. called Coup and the Gang. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather listen to my wife being gang banged again. You could say that for any situation. I know. <laughs> 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 yes. Good point. It is so. There's something so fun about that. <laughs> Fantasy. Who's your, who, okay, who do you have? Who's your yeah. next guest coming up? Um, I don't know. It's your podcast. Yeah, I know. I just had Sheba Mason on. Do you know her? Oh, wow. I do. God, how do you get these people? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, give me your Rolodex. <laughs> You're fucking, I just had. God damn it. I'm new, I had, I'm new to podcasting, uh, unlike you. I know. And comedy. My wife hates me. me. I don't like your, your Rolodex ref. Rich, <laughs> give me your contacts. It was, uh, God that's right. damn you. Stop it. <laughs> We're not new to podcasting. We've done almost 250 of them. Boss See, and his I'm, wife are great together. Bonnie and Rich are hilarious together. Yeah, Which our I've fucking heard. podcast is, it's world known. Okay, World a couple of people in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're an international technique is Toronto. I mean, legally you're right, but um, you know. Wait, so, yeah, so you did you did you like name when you named the my, my wife hates me? You guys were like doing good together, right? Never did we do good together. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife came up with the name. I like everything else. She's the creative part of this whole fucking marriage. Uh, I think I don't know where the name came from. Uh, I don't even. I have no. Her. She just. That's her way of telling you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh you. Know, what you think? Oh oh that hurt. You told me my wife doesn't like me. That, <laughs> that hurt. There's a topic on Coup and the gang tonight. Wives that hate their fucking husband. Wives. That's what I said. My wives. wife. You uh, said wife. Wives. You said wives. Wives. Didn't he say wives? Yeah. I like you. It, was God, I it makes them endearing. You know. That's why people come out to see you. Yes. In, and uh, I'm funny. In you the are very stress funny. factory this weekend. And uh, next weekend, next fr Thursday and Friday, where will I be in, in St. Paul? Minnesota. Wait, can no, someone call up? Sorry, guys, off the subject. On Twitter, I just saw this. Pretty funny how Jim Norton can start a fight in D the Dudley and Bob studio uh, 1,300 miles away. What's going on in the Dudley and Bob studio? I think I called into those guys. What's going who on? Who are they? I don't know. Um, I think they're in, I want to say San Antonio. How, see, I've gotten a couple of Dudley and Bob tweets, so what's going on there? Um. Yeah. There's a there's a in flood Austin? in Houston. Yeah. Oh, Austin. Okay. No. What what is it? Uh, if anyone can call in, um, and or text in, I just oh yeah, last samurai it was with Tom Cruise and Billy. Is it because I'm not going in studio? I think it's because I'm probably flying that I can't go in studio. I, I would love to go in studio with those guys. Uh, yeah, they're in Austin. I'm not sure what this is about. So if somebody can call in. Who knows what's going on with Dudley and Bob? 
next Thursday and Friday, I'll be at the uh, Joe Joint in, in uh, St. Paul. Who cares where you're going to be? Where's Opie now? Opie is with yeah. this guy. He's leaving tomorrow. So I think he wanted. He planned on spending the day with his family. Oh, okay. Because yeah. he's, he's, he's uh, I think his wife's not going. He's Are at that you? point with his kids. I think right? he's scared of me. No, cool, it's Opie? not. No, it was just scheduled. He likes yeah. you. He actually likes you. I don't oh, know. If you... No, he does. Uh, he's scared of my weed cookie, the powerfulness of it. Your weed cookies? Yeah. Are, are you really like, do you do any other drugs or just pot? No, just pot. I and tried cocaine. You don't cocaine. smoke it? I smoke it. I oh. eat it. You eat it? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Many ways in one. <laughs> uh, more ways. Uh. I th- look, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I leave out a word or two. <laughs> uh, I wish you needed to call 911 and you leave out a number love- or two. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Rich Voss teach a comedy <clears throat> class. Wouldn't that be funny? It would be. I did. I, ugh, I don't want to get into all it. Of his, what? <laughs> he'd be the only oh. teacher where all his students just laugh at him. Ooh. Oh. She got me on that one. So wait, you did teach one or no? No, I was asked to do this thing. and they, remember What when, thing? I don't want to. It's stupid. Okay. It's dumb. It, it's dumb. I had to come speak to these fucking. Oh, I would do that. They were being ra- no, they were being raped by a guy that was having this comedy retreat. And he was doing it around the country, and he's, you know, these people were paying two to three, four thousand dollars to come for a weekend, <clears throat> and listen to uh, speakers and have, uh, you know, workshops and stuff. Doug Stanhope went after the guy too, but I don't want to bring up his name because whatever, it is what it is. That's how he made money. But he took advantage of new comics, in my opinion. I don't think there's anything wrong with teaching a comedy class. A lot of comedians frown on that. I never took one, but yeah. I don't think that's wrong. No, it's not. It wasn't a class. It was a whole weekend, and you come and and there was the other... Bill Cosby comedy retreat where you <laughs> sleep over, but you don't know you're sleeping over. You think you're leaving at six, but then you wake up at eight thirty. Come on, you can't let her end like that. Do another one. <laughs> <laughs> come on, talk about the pens again. <laughs> Are you wearing the pens right now? N- not bad. Another play on words. <laughs> not bad. You fucking. <laughs> Fucking Bodak, come on, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, she came here on a boat and she performs on him. Anyhow, look, I had to get out Rich, of here. you had us out. with Bodak. I got greedy. Where are you going? Greedy. I thought we were done at 1030. We're wrapping up. It was a low, somebody tweeted it was a lower energy show. We were very conversational in the beginning. I but I, I, good. I, I didn't mind. I, I'm very, very tired today. And uh, I so I probably. Of, of Esther Let, we could all, we I could all, Esther. We could all admit we miss Opie. You know, Opie, it, there is an art to leading a show. It's yeah. not it's not easy to no, do. No, we, we need direction. We're retarded. You know what I mean? Mentally it's, handicapped. It's not uh, the easiest thing. I prefer just to chat. I don't mind that. But there is an art form to it. But it, to drive the train. Yeah. You know? It's not. He's good at it. It's not good. easy to do. So he was one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a goddamn good one. <laughs> um, no one is telling me about this show, so I guess is anyone calling in? Can you? Nobody's calling. It was about an hour ago. So no, the last time I was in here was uh, I ruined a pillow in my hotel room. I had my period. How? Oh, you... because I, oh. I like slept with it between my legs, and then I like bled all over it. <laughs> but why do you sleep with a pillow between your legs? Because. I don't get that. What was the reason? Is that uh, greatest run out of steam moment in the show's <laughs> history? No, no, no. Shut I, up. I didn't want to make a joke. I want to know why people, why you would sleep with that between your legs. Because it feels good, don't you? I mean? Because you know, I don't. Wanna... <laughs> I don't know. Let me let me ask Walter Matthau in his last eight <laughs> movies outfit. That fucking. Oh, you look... <laughs> I'm going to OTB after this. <laughs> you dress like Jack Lemon and Lemon in JFK. Yeah. You should be cowering in a track. <laughs> what? Oh, I know. I, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Uh, oh, wow. You guys tweeted that picture that boss. I told right you there. not to put it up. No, we took it down. Oh, let me see it, though. It's gone. Well, I, what you I just told had. you not to put it up. Let it's me see gone, it. just like the Stangle brothers. All right, shut up. Oh. God damn! I had a picture of my kids. You would have loved it. They were you this. Bet I would have. Uh, they're on top of the, on top of the. Let me see if I can find on top of the World Trade Center. Uh, and I have a picture of myself performing with, with, uh, 
with the building behind me. Remember, we used to, you did that gig in the middle there, right? Yep, and me and David Tell did it that day. Oh, fuck, I got that somewhere, too. That's fucking... 2003. Oh, I remember that gig. Nothing. All right, listen. Okay, just go to the Stress Factory Friday or Saturday, or... But there's a show tomorrow. Next uh, week. I'll be back call. tomorrow. Um, I'm traveling to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll only be in for 30 minutes tomorrow. I'm going to New Orleans, and I'm going to the Aztec in San Antonio, and then I'm going to Saturday, two shows at Moon Tower. So I apologize. Today, I was very, I'm very, you can hear it in my voice, I'm extremely you tired. You don't need to apologize. You were great. No, what I'm, are you talking I'm, about? But I'm just saying, people Norton, didn't like it. Norton and friends. People didn't like the low energy. I'm just Ugh. very sleepy. Why? I, but I, I love Esther Koo very much, and uh, you, will, you will be where? Tonight I love Jimmy Norton. Um, I am going to be at Caroline's tonight at 930 and then uh, this weekend, I'm in Princeton, New Jersey at Catch a Rising Star. And, of course, uh, Voss uh, and, and Koo and the Gang is Esther's podcast. My podcast, Koo and the Gang. And Rich and Bonnie do such a funny show here on Tuesday nights. My wife uh, hates me. Yeah, it's, yeah. Really, it's really funny. And honestly, you. you guys and are your so women, great And together. your Women Aren't Funny movie. It's yes. on Netflix. And yes. we need a lot of people to, uh, to, uh, to, to download it so they re-up our contract, you know, from who knows why. So download they... it. You don't have to watch it. Just download it. You know, I wonder how that works. If you just hit on it, you know, for iTunes just, to get it. In... Just search it just so that it yes. comes up when somebody types in M. Yeah. Y. Space. <laughs> yeah. W. You know? Yeah. Instead of my big fat Greek wedding or whatever. She's right. She's funny. She knows how to bust balls. She's good. She's good for one of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, by then he means woman. You know, kills our animals, but I like her. <laughs> Which would be the stress factor this weekend? I think we're done. Next Thursday and Friday, uh, St. Paul. Yay! That's a door deal. I cannot so come. do it. That's a door deal. It's a door deal. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. Then thank you to the great Suck Billy. That straw, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to me. Uh, <laughs> the great Billy Connolly. Don't be jealous of a chubby straw. <laughs> I heard Jews got small dicks. <laughs> really. Yeah. Is that what you heard? And I've seen. I felt. I got a nice dick. It's not. It's nice. Nobody. It's nobody was asking. When it's hard. I mean, you couldn't make it hard, but when it's hard. <laughs> okay. Of course, no. Nobody with that thing between their legs could. <laughs> it's got to be one of those what? hanging things. What? That, <laughs> what? That, <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Bye, OB. Miss you. All right. See you guys. Today's Opie and Jimmy show, as well as all of your favorite Opie radio programs, are available on demand through the SiriusXM app. Download it today. You know who's crazy? Steven Singer. He's as nutty as a fruitcake. Yep, the I hate Steven Singer guy is plum crazy. That's Steven's brand new exclusive rose color for Mother's Day. Show your mom that you're plum crazy about her with one of those famous 24 karat gold dipped roses. This new rose is a deep plum color with tiny sparkles that make it shine like a diamond and it's only $59. A gift that lasts forever. For only 59 bucks shipped for free with your own personalized Mother's Day card. It comes in a gorgeous gold gift box with a lifetime guarantee. You'd have to be plum crazy to miss out on Steven's exclusive brand new Mother's Day rose. You have nothing else to do. Go to IHateStevenSinger.com. This new rose will sell out soon. Don't be fooled by the fakes that don't have free shipping and a lifetime guarantee. The perfect gift at the perfect price. Steven is the perfect man. Your perfect mom, your perfect mother-in-law, your perfect grandmother, your perfect wife are going to be plum crazy about this perfect gift from the perfect Steven Singer Jewelers. The perfect gift at the perfect price. One place, one price, both are perfect. As I mentioned, Steven Singer Jewelers. On the phone, 888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER. That's the perfect phone number. Online, i hate steven singer.com. That's the perfect website. Everything is perfect. Everything you need to know from last night in the world of sports. That's the Morning Buzz on Bleacher Report Radio, Channel 83. Because even the biggest sports fan has got to sleep. Breaking news out of the NFL involving...